Good evening, Guillermo. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I was kind of worried because uh, I don't see anybody else connected. I don't know what have happened. Uh, I I feel in the same way, but my laptop. I turned on the the laptop, and uh -huh. it was uh, some update. Update, yeah. And oh. it was like. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Time is running. I know, I know, right? So we have also Reina. Good evening, Reina. Good evening, teacher. Reina, would you be able to participate or are you going to be only as a listener? Okay. Sí, solamente que en las primeras horas En los primeros minutos se me dificulta porque todavía voy de camino. Llego tipo 8.40, oh, okay. algo así. Entonces, okay. por eso. Okay. Mi, no sé si yo estoy equivocada, pero eh, hace ratos mandaron una información al grupo. Y yo me metí en la sé que estaba ahí, pero era otra clase. Entonces, busqué el enlace anterior. Quizás por eso no se han metido los demás. Ah, that's why. So that was just like wondering what happens because normally everybody is punctual, right? Yes. Hello, Ursula. Hello, Carlos. Yes, Were you in the wrong class too? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. And and I I scared when, when I saw another teacher. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Let me tell that to that, the group right now. That is, that is not my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me report it right now in the group. Yes, please. Let's see. So it was so strange. Let me just report right now. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Teacher, como ahí como que hay un problema, fíjese de que me enviaron un enlace de otro grupo. Yes, that's what the, your classmates are telling me, so I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that okay. either. Lo siento, but good evening. Yo también Hello, estaba... don't worry, don't worry, I understand. So I'm just reporting that right it, now. This, no, this is my teacher. This is sent my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's see. Okay, I reported on the group, so perhaps the new, um, the, the other classmates can see it and they will not join the other class. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I was, I was telling, um, Guillermo, right, that I was like surprised because like I joined the class and Nobody was in the class, and I was like, "Where are my students? What happened with them?" All right. So yeah, I was like thinking, like, "Oh, maybe today is Saturday," and I don't remember that, right? So let's see. Okay, well, let's just start right now, so people can join uh the class later. All right. So let's see. Some people have seen the message. Good, good, good. There you go. Excellent. So, well, uh, let's just continue right now. One second here. F11. Okay.
Well, everybody, officially, good evening. Welcome to the class, right? To the correct class, all right? So, and we are going to start right now um, with some activities here. So we have a review today and also a topic that we are going to um, learn today as well, all right? So today we'll be working with the book, all right? So if you have access to it, we are in page right now. This is page uh, 14, all right? So this is the one we're gonna be working with tonight. All right, so, and then we have here the first activity. So let's just focus right now on this one. One second here, this one. Okay, let's just start with the activity number one, all right? So it says right here, it has two questions. It says, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? All right, so remember last night, we were talking about the menus, right? So how to uh, create a menu, how to organize it, the ideas and the process to organize a menu. So right now we are going to um, answer the question that we have right here, like introduce a new uh, menu item. So for example, if you already have a menu, how would you add a new item, right? So for example, imagine you have a pizza restaurant and you want to uh, add a new pizza topping, for example, there we can have a piece of, I mean, yeah, uh, chicken pizza or a shrimps pizza, seafood pizza, why not? So how would you add that item? And the next one says here, what do you think about giving free samples? Hey guys, do you know what's the meaning of free samples? Mm -hmm. One muestra. Yeah, exactly. Like when you go to the supermarket and they are trying to sell new products and they give you free samples so you can eat. Have you done that before? Like the cheese. Like cheese, yogurt. exactly. Exactly. Or ham right? or sausage. Yes, that's true. That's true. All right. So it's a good idea. Yes or no? What do you think about doing that? Right. Is it good or not? Um, I think it's good because you you can taste the food or 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 the beverage, and you make a decision if you have to buy. Ah, okay, very good, excellent. So let's see here. All right, um, I would like to uh, I would like to have a volunteer for the question number one right here. So who's gonna be my volunteer for this first part? Uh-huh. Just for this one, ladies and gentlemen, this one right here, this one, and this one, this part. What would you do to introduce a new menu item, right? How would you add the menu item to the menu? ¿Cómo lo agregarías? ¿Qué harías? In your opinion, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Hello, hello. Well, let's see everybody, where is it? Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, a lot of people turn the camera off. Huh? So I'm going to choose the one with the camera on. Hello, Nuria. <laughs> Hello, teacher. All right. So how are you? Hi, thanks. Okay, great. Excellent. So... Let me ask you this. If you had a restaurant, uh, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? Um, mm -hmm. Agregar? Yeah. No menu? Okay. Sorry. What would you do to add a new menu item? No. How? I mean, uh, what, what actions would you take to add a new menu? I mean, I mean an, uh, a new product to your menu. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, teacher. Like imagine you have a, a pizza restaurant, right? So what would you do to add a new pizza topic? You know what is a new pizza topic? Okay. Mm. You know what is a new pizza topping or not? Yes, Loroco. Uh, okay. So, for example, how will you how would you introduce a 
Floroco pizza, for example, to your menu? How would you promote it? Uh, I see that. Um, come on. Uh, how do you say disfrutar in English? Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, come on. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, new Loroco's pizza. Um, no. No. Uh, All right. So you like like how like how would you promote that? Like, would you give free ex free samples of pizza? Would you give away pizzas, or are you going to invest in publicity? Right, <laughs> Facebook ads. What what actions will you take? Investigate it in in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. All right, so thank you. What about you, Ursula? What would you do? Um, um I will promote uh, in the app uh, or in the internet, uh, like Facebook or Instagram. And then I think it's a good idea to, to tell to the waiter or the waitress and tell as the customer the new product for for the move. And sometimes in some places and some in some restaurants, when you uh, have a, an order, uh, mm -hmm. the waitress told 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 us, um, would you like to to taste or fruit and or new meal or new topic and you can choose the if you say yes or not. And sometimes in the table the the, the restaurants put some publicity to the new um in the new topic or the new food they have. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you very much in this one. So that's a good way to promote, right? So um, very creative by the way, all right? Thank you so much in this one. All right, what about you, Noem? How would you add a new product to the menu? How would you promote it? The microphone, eh, Noem. Okay, DJ. Uh, okay, promoter, promoter on social network. Mm -hmm. uh, on social networks. Hey, very good. Okay. Yeah. And, and how would you promote that one? Like with an ad, publicity, or an influencer? Uh, publicity. Uh, the, the new product. Mm hmm Okay, very good to so promote the new products. Exactly, very good job. Okay, now uh, let's see here. What about you, Daniel? Daniel, let me ask you the question, but this was a new one, the number two. What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Daniel, do you know what is a free sample? Yeah, um, I see when I usually you us us usaría uh, maybe the use maybe the maybe the communication excuse me us utilizaría medios de comunicación the media yeah. media yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you use the media okay excellent <laughs> um so put it on tv radio that's what you mean Ah, okay. So in that case, it's going to be social media. Social media. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right. Excellent. So thank you, my friend. Uh, Eduardo, so can you please tell me how, I mean, what do you think about giving free mm -hmm. samples of new products? Is it okay or not? Yes, teacher. 
Hello? Again, please. Sure. What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Free samples. You know what is free samples? Three examples. No. no, 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 no. So we are here. Take a look at this one. We are here. When I'm talking about the free samples, I'm saying this. One second. All right. This one. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. do, do you know what is that? Yes, okay. Okay, what yes, is I, it? I'm I using the, for example, bias publicitarias. Okay, so like Daniel and Eduardo, you were answering the question number one, but now I am in the number two, right? Can someone tell me what are the free samples? Muestras. Huh? Excuse muestras me? Gratis. Muestras. La gratis. muestras, exactly. La muestra gratis. Like, for example, when you go to the supermarket and, um, you know, they give you free uh, pieces of food, right? So when you go, um, like, for example, the cheese. Someone was telling me the cheese, the ham, the sausage, etc. right? So, uh-huh. What do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea? Like, for example, do you really buy a product because of the free sample you receive at the supermarket or not? Mm -hmm. Yes, I receive it. For example, the piece of, of bread with a uh, salchicha. Sausage. Sausage and... and and sample of the beer, and sample of the cook, or soda. 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 Okay, okay, very good, excellent. So, thank you very much, all right? So, well, let's just move forward to the next activity here, all right? And let's work together on this one. Thank you guys for participating, good job. All right, so, uh, let me see here. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you help me to read the instruction here, the number two? Yes, teacher. Uh, read the following strategies to introduce a new menu items. Check the box next to the strategies for the uh, strategies you would consider implementing. 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 All right. So thank you. Thank you. Remember, uh, my friend, the pronunciation of this word right here, it's going to be item. Repeat it. Item. Items. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So thank you very much. Then uh, let's see this one, people. We are going to go on this one. So we are going to check this box to see if it, like, the strategies uh, are correct or would you consider implement this uh, strategies, right? Vamos a marcar la cajita, la, la box que está ahí a la parte de esas strategies para ver si ustedes lo harían o no lo harían, right? Remember that it's not correct or incorrect. Simply, it's just um, your opinion, right? So, let's see. For example, um, the number one, where it says, provide free food samplings of your new products. Would you do it if you had a restaurant, lo harían? To provide, remember what is provide, ladies and gentlemen, what is provide? Do you know what is provide? Proveer. Proveer, proporcionar, right? Eh, proporcionar. All right, so, eh, or that in this case, right? So to give free food samples of your new products, all right? So, if you had a restaurant, think about this way, right? Si tuvieran un restaurante, all right, ustedes dieran like free food samples of your new dishes or not? Yeah. Yes, teacher. yes. Yes, okay. So, it could be an strategy that we can check here so we can have it as, yes. Okay, excellent. So, the new one right here will be, let's see, help me reading this one. Um, Let's see, Catherine, Catherine Reyes, are you there? Yes, teacher. 
Can you help me to read the number two? This one. Please help me reading it. Oops. Connection issues. Can someone help me to read the number two, please? Me, teacher. Thank you very uh, much. Go ahead. Add new items, items to your website. New items to your website, all right? Would you do that, people? Would you use a website, actually? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, some people can say it, right? So let's see. Um, Let me ask you this one. When you want to buy a new product, do you visit the product's website or you go to the social media page? It's depending yeah. on the restaurant. Depending on the restaurant? For example, Miguel, can you be more specific? Uh, if is a restaurant big. A big restaurant. It's possible. A big restaurant is possible. But if is a restaurant small, it's social mm -hmm. media. Social media, all right. So remember, uh, Miguel, that when you use adjectives, the adjectives go first. For example, if you want to say, un restaurante grande, so in English, we change the position. So that would be like a big restaurant or a small okay. restaurant, okay? okay. Thank you. All right, excellent. Thank you, my friend. So let's continue with this one. All right, so you will say depending on the restaurant. So if you have a nice restaurant, so you can, I mean, a big restaurant, so that will be a yes. So we can also do this. Very good. Now, let's go for the next one. Use social network sites to share the information about your new products. Would you do it? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, it's what we were talking about, right? So definitely, yes. So we go on this one. Uh, can someone help me to read number four? Who can yeah, help me? Sure. All right, go Advertise ahead, Guillermo. Products in the white space of the receipts. Of the recipes. All right, so the space of the recipes. Oh, no, no, sorry. My bad. I, sir, I, I, I uh, read. Recetas y no es recetas, son recibos. So receipt, receipt. All right, so yes, very good. Excellent. So advertise the products in the white space of the receipts, all right? I don't know if you remember that, but I remember when I was a kid, uh, there were some um supermarkets. I guess it was like, like when you went to buy the tickets, I mean, you went to buy the things and they give you a ticket. In the back part of the ticket, they have like products some promotions and discounts, right? Do you remember that or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, well, so that could be another option. Would you do that or do you think it could be expensive? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing that. So let's see. Um. This one, it will be like a no, I guess I understood, right? And what about the next one, everybody? The last one, can somebody help me to read it? Hello, hello. Give a promotion. I'm volunteer for reading the last one. Oh, thank you, Ursula. Sorry, go ahead. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customer after the Recent okay, excellent. So, will you give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after the recent visit? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, good, good, good idea. It is a good idea, right? So, to give a promotional, all right? So, they can, like, it's similar to the free samples, right? With the difference, like, perhaps in this case here, you are going to... um sell something not only giving them for free right but you need to sell something before all right so yeah absolutely 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 so let's just continue 
All right, so, well, everybody here, let's just continue with the next activity. Oh, by the way, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? And the most important part here, are you understanding what I'm saying, people? Or should I slow down? Hello? Is it clear? It's slow. Oh, it's slow down, please. Ah, uh, no, no, they're not for you. You speak good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. It's okay. All right, so, well, one more time, let me ask you. Do you have questions about um, um, the vocabulary that we re review? Una pregunta sobre vocabulary? No, really. Not really. All right, no, very good. Not Let's just move forward then to the next activity here, which is going to be the activity number three. Yes, this one right here. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, Nuria, by the way, can you help me to read the instruction in the activity number three? Okay, teacher. Uh, these are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu to the menu. Thank you very much. All right. So as you can see, um, now we are going to learn those steps. At the beginning, I was just asking, perhaps if you have some ideas, si tenían algunas ideas, de cuál podría ser un action plan um, para uh, introducir un, nuevo, un producto nuevo in the menu, right? So let's see this one right here. It says, um, the first thing here it's what action or change will happen all right so what does it mean or in this case what is actually what is going to be saying here uh this is just basically telling you right when i change this product right do you think customers are going to prefer the new product more than the old one or do you think that the customers might not like it maybe right um, number two, it says right here, who will carry it out? We have vocabulary here. What is carry out? This Se is encarga. a phrase number, and I would like you to tell me what is it. What's the meaning of carry out? Se va a encargar. Para exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. ¿Quién lo llevará a cabo? All right. So, ¿quién se encargará de eso? All right. Will that be the boss, the chef, the manager, etc.? right? So then um, with the number, letter C, I'm sorry, it says there, when will it take place? What's the meaning or how would you translate this one? Take place. Tendrá lugar. Mm -hmm. Tendrá lugar, exactly, right? Very good job, thank you. And the question, how long? What is it, people? Por cuánto tiempo? Cuánto tiempo, exactly. How long is it going to take, all right? So those are the questions that we need to ask when we are actually creating an action plan. Preguntas que toman en cuenta a la hora de crear un plan de acción, all right? So letter D, it says, what resources are needed to carry out the change? All right, so what's the meaning of resources here? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning recursos. of resources? Los recursos. recursos, exactly. Very good job, right? Are you going to need more ingredients, special ingredients? Are the ingredients more expensive or more difficult to get? Um, or do you have to go and get the um the ingredients from a further place, right? So all those things need to be taken into consideration. All right, and what about the last one here, which is letter E? It says communication. Who, I mean, who should know that, right? How would you say this into Spanish, my friends? Mm -hmm. Who should know that, right? So, uh-huh, uh-huh. How would you say that in Spanish? Any idea? And why are you so shy tonight, people? Come on. ¿Quién debería de saberlo? 
Exactly. ¿Quién debería de saberlo? Right? So, eh, I mean, we're talking about like the action plan. ¿Quién debería de saber este action plan? All right. So, like this one. So, for example, let's, let's, let's give examples in here so we can have a better understanding of this. So, imagine that I have um, a, a hamburger restaurant, you know? A hamburger restaurant. And we have a, I want you to introduce a new um a new hamburger Amos. If you had a restaurant, a hamburger restaurant, what changes would you apply? Right? So for example, que, 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 que item, all right, que artículo, que nuevo producto, agregarían ustedes a un plan uh, de acción para un restaurante de hamburguesas. Como, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué idea de hamburguesa can you imagine, by, for example? The common one is like the chicken burger and the hamburger, right? So, what about others? ¿De una hamburguesa de qué agregarían? What type of hamburger would you have? De camarones. <gasps> Delicious. Hi, Sonia. All right, so, a shrimps, shrimps hamburger. Okay. Vamos a tomar el plan de acción usando la shrimps hamburger. All right, so what action or change will happen? All right, so eh, uh -huh. ¿qué acciones o cambios tomaríamos para poder vender esta um, type of hamburger? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo podríamos empezar por eso? ¿Qué acciones? What act Excuse me, what actions or what changes? Dos por uno. Make a new promotion. A promotion, the two by one, get two. Okay. Sería como la publicity or no, or no a promotion. Okay. What else? This is an idea. What else? What else? Uh, special discount. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you say, Guillermo? A special discount if you buy some hamburgers. You can get that, the new one, for a special price. Okay, very good. So that's actually an, a good one. It's similar to the one we were actually having before. Um, all right. So we have like buy one, buy, I mean, buy one, get two, and we have a discount for the new hamburger. All right, very good. Any other one? Uh, would you get free samples or not? Hmm? No free samples. Mm, you you could try. I mean, if you take the risk, maybe you will win new customers and they will spend the money. All right. So yeah, so but as, as you said before, it's a risk, right? Because imagine shrimps. Shrimps are expensive. Yeah. All right, and if you're giving them for free, that's going to be a lot of money that you're going to be, you know, giving away, right? So it depends on this one. Okay, but thank you. I like the idea. So we have free samples. We have buy one, get two, and we have uh, um, discounts on the new product. All right, good job. Now, who will carry it out? in your restaurant the boss the chef the manager the owner the social media manager who mm -hmm. who do you think is responsible for this hello the publicity is the manager i i think mm -hmm. is a uh... It's a teamwork. It's a teamwork. Okay. Why? Because they they are a lot of work in this in this activity to bring something new. Okay, I, mean, I agree with I you. I mean so... the, the owner have the idea, for example, the chef is making a reality with your idea. And then the publicity manager is thinking about 
how to make a good promotion of this idea. Excellent. That was a nice answer, by the way. All right. So, yes, I, I agree with you when it says it's teamwork, right? Because a lot of people can actually work on the same project, right? So, you know, the person with the idea, the person making it reality, and the person promoting the idea, right? So, good. I like that answer. Thank you for sharing that. Let's go for letter C. All right. When will it take place? All right. So, like, how long do you think it's going to take for you to have? The new hamburger ready. A week, two weeks, one month. How much time do you think it's necessary? Hmm? Hello? How much time do you think you need? Oh my goodness, people. You know, one second here. Okay. Okay, so let's just continue right now as I was just asking you before. So we're going to continue. I mean, like, um, as you requested, I'm going to repeat again what happens here with the step uh, or the activity number three. So now, uh, Jill, can you do me a favor, Jill? Can you help me to read the instruction in number three? Jill? Perdón, como le indiqué hace un momento, me estoy eh, incorporando prácticamente y es, ando ahorita no. No, no don't worry. It's, it's just about <laughs> it's just about reading the instruction here. The instruction read uh, here. The number three. Just read this part, please. This one. Just read. Okay, thank you, Miguel. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, these are example of the step in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. To the menu. Thank you very much. All right. So as you can see here, we, we have some important details. And the first one says here, steps. Guys, do you know what is a step? Or not? Also? Yes. Passos, exactly, right? So, well, steps, passos right there. In an action plan to introduce a new product, all right? So, entonces, vamos a agregar un new product a un menú. That's what we are doing right now. So, to introduce, to add a new product to a menu. Remember that last night we were talking about um, the menus, right? So, how do we create a menu? How do we organize it? The categories, the prices, etc. Right. So in tonight, we are talking about how to add or what could be the plan or the actions to take to add new products to your um menu, right? So following that, uh, we are going to have or oh, we have here some steps, some steps, sorry to see uh, how can we create the action plan. So the first one right here, it says what actions or changes will happen, all right? So uh, for example, uh, I was giving you an example before about a hamburger restaurant, okay? And I was uh, saying what could be a good idea to add in a hamburger restaurant. So I guess, um, I don't remember who told me about the shrimps hamburger, who was it? I don't remember. Who gave me that idea about the hamburger? Well, it's okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, shrimps, which is camarones. All right, so this one right there, it's they said, okay, teacher, let's create a new hamburger with shrimps, right? And I said, okay, let's do it. What actions or what activities uh, will happen so for you to promote it? Some people will say, dos por uno. How do you say dos por uno in English? So it's like two by, by one. one. 
get two. That's actually how you say it. Buy one, get two. All right? So, um, yeah, because you know what happens? It's just like in English when you have the expression or when you have this one, it's not dos por uno, right? So, como las tablas. So, esto en inglés se lee como eh, two times one. Así. Oops, sorry. Two times one. Like this. All right? That's how you uh, read it, right? Eh, entonces, por eso decimos aquí, buy one and get two. So, that's going to be lo que nosotros conocemos como el dos por uno, right? Understand? Yes, it's... yes. All right. Awesome. So, eh, entonces, sí, entonces ahí, esas acciones pueden tomarse. So, those actions can change or can actually happen, right? Eh, podemos ofrecer una promotion de eh, buy one, get two. All right. Also, we can give free samples. Because remember, the free samples are in muestra gratis. Very good. Excellent. So, or a discount, they said, all right? Un descuento in the new product, right? Um, so, for example, let's see here. Let's just talk about uh, this one. Hey, guys, have you ever um, bought hamburgers at Wendy's? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, excellent. So, when, like, for example, um, when Wendy's adds a new product or a new hamburger, they promote it like everywhere, social media, um, billboards, right? So everywhere, right? And they give you promotions. Let's say, for example, if you buy one, get 50% on the other one, right? So 50% discount, for example, right? 50% de descuento. Hay 50% discount, 50% de descuento. All right, so, and so on. So that actually is another action that we can eh, take, all right? So, para promover este new example. So, eso sería el letter A, right? So, las acciones que we promote to, um, I'm sorry, the, the actions that we do to promote the product. Is or this clear now? Two, teacher. Huh? Or free drink too. Oh, okay, a free drink, all right, so, oh, an extra drink, right, so that's nice, okay. interesting, all right, so, uh, questions about the letter A? No. No? Okay, cool, no. that's about that one, all right, let's continue with the letter B, the letter B, it says carry out, dijimos que carry out was what, people, what was carry out? Encargados. Encargado, right? So who will be in charge of this one? And you guys told me before that it's a teamwork, right? What is teamwork, my friends? Two people. Uh, all right. Yeah. Team is equipo, right? Trabajo en equipo will be like teamwork, all right? So, uh, the teamwork, why? Porque decíamos, alguien tiene la idea, somebody has the idea, then the chef cooks the idea or makes it reality. And then we have the, um, what's this one? The Oh, the, the manager or the marketing department that they promote the idea everywhere. So to make new customers, right? Entonces es como un teamwork. Es decir, eh, ¿quién lleva a cabo esto? We can say teamwork here, right? So, uh, then, letter C, teníamos la expression here, take place. What is take place, my friends? Hmm? Do you remember? Que tomara lugar. Ajá, uh -huh. o llevar a cabo. O tomar lugar, very good. There you go, excellent. So, Eh, ¿Dónde tomará lugar? Right? ¿Y por cuánto tiempo? Right? Could be in the restaurant, maybe only delivery, all right? Or it could be, you know, any other eh, possibly, right? So, en los restaurantes, en los food cars, for example, 
o solamente en el food court, o solo para llevar, o solo delivery, right? ¿Y por cuánto tiempo va a estar esta promotion o este new product? ¿Es un producto seasonal product? All right? Like, for example, people, um, let's see, let's see, para que tengan una idea de que es un seasonal product, all right? So, seasonal, sí, product. Producto de temporada. Can you mention a seasonal product from any restaurant here in El Salvador? Let's see if you remember. Puede mencionar alguno? Can you mention in, any in seasonal Hall, product? It's a Loroco. Loroco Pizza. Loroco Pizza, for example, yes, which is currently, right? Nowadays, yes. they, yeah, exactly. Huh? What else? Donuts. ¿Qué otro restaurant tiene seasonal products? La de Donuts. I'm sorry, Miguel. The donuts. Well, the, the donuts, um, I wouldn't consider a seasonal product. No lo consideraría un seasonal product porque donuts siempre hay. Maybe tienen una promotion during a sí. season, right? Pero el seasonal sí. product sería un producto que solo se da por temporadas, you know? Como el oroco, sí. for example. How do you say aguacate mm -hmm. in English, teacher? Avocado. Avocado. Eh, um, mm -hmm. Hamburger with avocado. Eh, season, season, ¿cómo es? season product. Seasonal product. Really? What restaurant? Mm, Bur Burger King. Burger King. Oh, it's true that they actually add avocado to everything there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you know what? Another restaurant eats pollo campero with the shrimps. And only for summer. Mm -hmm. You know what is summer? Verano. Yes. All right. Por el verano, allá por Semana Santa, Holy Week, uh, pollo campero sells some, I mean, um, shrimps. All right. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimps. All right. And then that, okay, that's an example of a seasonal product. Entonces, we can actually answer the question. ¿Cuánto tiempo? One month, two months, just 15 days, just three months, etc. Right? Uh, is it clear now, people, de qué se trata este? Yes? Yes, it is clear. Okay, cool. Let's just now go with letter D. In here, it says, what resources are needed to carry out the change? What's the meaning of resources? Recursos. Recursos. All right. Necesitan para que era carry out. As if you remember, what is carry out? Para llevar a cabo. Para llevar a cabo. Right. So, well, I guess the resource. What are this one? How do you say ingredientes? Product of the this season. All right. The seasonal products. The ingredients, uh -huh. publicity, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Et cetera, right? And communication, who should know that? ¿Quién debería saber eso, people? The customers, right? Or not? Right. Yes. Yes, of course, right? Great, excellent. Thank you. So, eh, los steps del action plan que nos da aquí el book, it, are they clear now? So, now do you understand what they talk about? Yes, they can. Okay, It's great, good. excellent. Vamos a hacer entonces un exercise right here. Tenemos acá otros steps, ejemplos de steps de un action plan que ya está hecho aquí. So, it's already finished. All right, so, but we need to organize it. So we are going to add the numbers from one to five, all right? So we are going to read these um, statements here or these steps, and then we are going to determine what is going to be the number one, the number two, et cetera, et cetera. But first, let's read all of them. So for that, I need a volunteer. So who wants to be my volunteer for number one? Read it. Me, This teacher. One. All right. Thank you, Nuria. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. 
through Feb February, all right? So Nuria, let's just work on some pronunciation details right here. So for example, the first word right here, repeat it with me, available. Available. Thank you. How do you say this in English, people? Valentine's. <laughs> yes, right? You did it good. And this one right here, through. True. There you go, February. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Nuria. So who is going to help me right now with the next one? So just to read it. Después ponemos los números. So we are going to add the numbers later. All right. Thank you, Miguel. Go ahead. The chefs created the receipt for the drink. The manager mm -hmm. approved of it. And the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So we have three words right there that you are going to um, repeat with the right pronunciation. Aquí se está la que les decía yo antes. Recipe. Repeat it, my friend. Recipe. Recipe. Which is una? What? Recipiente. Receta. Receta. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Similar. <laughs> All right. So then, is this one the pronunciation approved? Repeat it. Approved. Excellent. And then, advertising. Okay, advertising. Exactly, all right. So uh, everything else, it's okay. Uh, everybody, uh, before I go with Daniel, um, do you have questions about the vocabulary here? Not really. You to? need to read that first. Okay, yes, Daniel. Ahorita te doy chance. Just let me uh, check here if we have vocabulary questions for number two. Uh-huh. What is approved? Aprobación. Aprobado, all right? O aprobación en este caso, yes. Advertising? Un anuncio. Un anuncio, like, like the managers, like the marketing things here, all right? Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, Daniel, yes, you can help me with number three, please. Okay. Advertising board of and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Okay, excellent. Thank you. One more time, my friend. Remember that the pronunciation of this word, it's advertising. Repeat it, my friend. Advertising. Thank you. Good job. All right. So, well, uh, anything else? Any question, people? Any questions about this one? No, so. Okay, excellent. So, I need another volunteer for number four. What is it? Hello, hello, volunteers. The manager requested extra funding for this project. Mm -hmm. The drink made with the herbs. Um, that are sunwatched. Sunwatched. Uh -huh. uh, ra rare. Rare. But they, uh -huh. Perdón. Rare, uh -huh. but they are not very expensive. All right, excellent. So I have a question for you, everybody. What is some what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some what? Any idea? Un poco de... Mm -hmm. Somewhat, it's un poco. Okay. So, and then rare, rattle, right? So, very good. The money you requested extra funding. And what is funding? Mm -hmm. This one. I don't know. It's fun. Well, no problem. Right now, I'll give, give it to you. Es puerto. Fondos, really? como de fondo. It's just like money. Funding, fondos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Money, money, money. All right. 
So good, excellent. Thank you. And a volunteer for the last one, please. Just to read it. Mm -hmm. A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Thank you very much, Maritza. Very good job. Okay, so now it's time for you to help me to add the numbers here. All right. So what's going to be number one, people? In your opinion, what's going to be number one? Letter C. This one? This is one for you? Yes. Uh, okay. What about the rest, people? Communication who will know what. Excuse me? Donde está el uno? The number oh, one yeah. was, could was the letter A. Yes. Oh, this one. This is one for you. I think it is number four. Uh, so it's going to be this one. Yes. Okay. So I have three <laughs> options right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's the last one. Okay. Yeah, that's great. All right. So thank you guys for saying this one. Porque lo que va a pasar here is that we are going to add a new drink to the menu, right? So thank you. It's the last oh. one, all right? That's what is gonna happen. What about number two? What is gonna be number two? Follow those steps, people. Remember that here you have like the ideas, right? On those steps right here. Ya dijimos que lo que va a pasar, que vamos a introduce a new uh, drink, all right? A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. This is like the action is going to happen. So who will carry out? ¿Quién va a estar responsable? Y si ponemos las letras en vez de los números, porque me siento que me confundía. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. I keep forgetting the CN numbers, but that's a good suggestion. Thank you. Okay, we can change it. No problem. So this is going to be letter A. Okay. So let's see. Okay, excellent. So what's going to be letter B then? Number number two, letter B. This one. Yes. Okay. Yay. Very good. Letter C. Um, number one. Number one. Yes. Because it says here Valentine's Day and through February. So we go on this one. Excellent. Uh -huh. What about letter D? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the number three. Number three. This one. Yes. Four. Yes. Yay, it's four. You know, because esta habla de money, remember? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. No problem. All right, so, and then, obviously, this is letter E. ¿Quién es lo que son los que comunican? Advertising board staff. Same communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Okay. Excellent, 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 people. So, it was hard, but we did it, right? So, questions about vocabulary here? No, no questions? So, for me. No, no, no. Okay, excellent, 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 excellent. All right. So let's just continue with a different activity here so we can review it. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Oops, one second. Okay, it's time now for you to have a conversation. All right, let me know if you can see the new screen. Can you? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So we are going to um, read this one. So we're going to complete it, all right? And then we are going to work with the 
um, the number three here, all right? So which is gonna be very easy basically to, to complete it, all right? So it says right here, all right? So to says, read Carla's phone conversation with a friend for from an advertising department, all right? So guys, right now I am going to read it for you, all right? And then you are going to practice reading this one, all right? So it says, for example, Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi It's outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, excellent. So then we are going to um, read this one. But before we practice the reading, let's just review these expressions here that are in bold letters. You could discount. What is the meaning of you could discount, people? Huh? Tu puedes descontar, all right? So the green peppers, very good, excellent. And then what about the this one right here? You might want to have. What is you might want to have? You might want to tenir. have. You Obtendrá might un want to have. Obtendrás un promocional. Mm, you know, maybe this is como like, es posible que quieras tener. All right. O es posible que quieras um, a promocion, una, a una actividad promocional. All right, so that's actually is understood as es posible que quieras tener, for example, all right? In this one, cold offer. Repeat everybody, cold offer. Cold, cold, offer. cold offer. Very good, excellent. And what is cold offer? Uh -huh. Deberías, uh, podrías ofrecer, all right? Actually, podrías ofrecer. Very good, excellent, thank you. All right, so then we have this one. Okay, now I need two volunteers who's going to be my first two volunteers for the first activity here, which is reading. Who wants to read? Hi, teacher. Thank you. We have Nuria and Daniel, all right? So, Ursula, you will be for the next one, the next round, okay? Excellent. So, uh, Nuria, you're going to be Carla, and Daniel, you're going to be Mr. Sanders, okay? Okay, uh, Luigi Go is going to introduce a new kind of, of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about the pro how about promotional activity in the restaurant? You know. You could discount the green paper stick that never saw. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you you hook them you hook them up with a spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional uh activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call, call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but they is not telling people the pizza is super spicy. Oh my God, all right. Thank you very much, everybody. You did a good job on this one. So that was super, super, super good, all right? So let's see here. 
Okay. Hey, everybody, I have a question for you here. What is the meaning of spicy? Uh -huh. Picante. Yes, picante. Do you like spicy food? More or less. Yes, I like it. Me too. Do you like it? Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, well, very good. So thank you guys. You did a very good job. So now we are going to listen to two more people. So uh, Ursula was one of them. So Ursula needs another vo volunteer. Who's the next volunteer? Miguel, thank you. All right, Ursula, you go with Miguel whenever you're ready. Um, okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in a national plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green paper sticks that never sells. Then the customer will get the green paper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or baseball 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 game you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event oh my i will call you later Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples but he is isn't telling people that pizza is super spicy. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you very much. You did it wonderfully. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see. That was nice, nice, nice. Okay, now let's just continue. Thank you, everybody who participated. Reading. You did a wonderful job. So let's just continue now with the next activity here so we can actually complete it here, which is the number three, super easy. It says, you know, based on the conversation, we need to complete the sentences. The first one says, you discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. What's the expression that we're going to use there? You could. could. You could discount. Exactly. Thank you, Noé. That was actually good. So it's going to be like, you could discount. All right. This one right here. So we're going to add it here, which is this one. You could discount that. All right. Excellent. So what about the next one? You want to have a promotional yeah, activity to close have. to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. What mm -hmm. is it? Want to have. You might want to have. All right. Excellent. What was the meaning of this one? ¿Qué significaba esta, my friends? It's possible que quieras tener, right? Very good, excellent. And the last one, you offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. So what is it? You could. You could. You could. You could offer a discount, offer. exactly, right? So that was nice, 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 nice. All right, very good. Hey, questions about vocabulary? Yes. What is it? Tell me. I would like to know how is the meaning of the hook. Excuse me? Hook. In the second hook. paragraph. And ah, all right. So you mean one second here. The first stick and you hook them. Hook them up. This one. Yes. All right. Excellent. So it's going to be hooking up, which is has to be with like, um, it's coming like from uh, engancharlos, you know, como atraparlos. You know, it's just like, for example, let's say, uh, 
como cuando te dan like, los tres samples en restaurant. Quieren hook you up. Quieren engancharte con ese. Understood? Yes. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question about vocabulary? No question for me. No. Uh, I'm gonna send it here for God. All right, excellent. So, ojo, engancharlos, no de, de engañarlos, como dicen en Spanish, here in El Salvador, right? Sino que, like, de atraerlos eh, para que compren el product. So, okay, great, excellent. So, let's just continue here with the next activity here. All right. Now, my friends, right here. So, we will continue with this one. Oh, let me clean here the, um, the screen. Okay. So let's see. There we go. Okay, excellent. So now we are going to go to um, learn how to use might and cool. All right. So let's see. Maritza, can you help me to read here the instruction? This instruction right here. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the ex exercise below. Thank you very much. Excellent. So you go on this one right here. It says, we use cool to make suggestions. Look, make suggestions. What is to make suggestions, my friends? Hacer sugerencias. Exactly. Hacer sugerencias. All right. So like the examples we have right here, this one, it says, you could talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. All right, so I have a question for you. What is bundling? Mm -hmm. A new word right there. What is bundling? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's actually bundling, agrupar. All right, so... Um, let's say, for example, si tenemos una uh, pizza, right? En lugar de vender solo la pizza, we bundle it y le ponemos palitroques o le ponemos pan con ajo. And we, we know it here in El Salvador as combos, right? All right, all right, excellent. So, it is like, let's see. Um, Nuria, how would you translate the first example into Spanish? Hello, Gloria. Nosotros podríamos, um, a ver, yo, nosotros podríamos hablar con el jefe uh -huh. sobre agrupar productos para el evento promocional. Yay, right? So just remember que no podría ser nosotros, sino que ahí sería tú o ustedes. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. So like that one. And then we have the second example right here. So you could generate business in a community event, all right? Thank you. So tell me, let's see here. That will be, um, let's say Guillermo. Guillermo, how do you say the example number two into Spanish? Okay. Mm-hmm. Hello? Is in the part and uh, number five, right? Uh no, I'm asking like you to translate this into Spanish. And you could generate business in a community. Tu podría generar eh, negocios en un evento comunitario. Mm -hmm. Una comun un evento comunitario. All right, very good, excellent. And so as you can see here. You are talking about suggestions, sugerencias. Thank you, Guillermo, for translating that one. And then we might you use might. Might, might, might. All right. So might is often used with want 
or like. Es decir, que might se usa con want or con like. To add politeness. What is politeness, people? Do you know what is the meaning of politeness? Mm -hmm. Yes, or Políticamente. No? Como cortesía. Ajá, me quedo con cortesía, yes. Cortesía. Uh -huh. Yes, entonces como para sonar mucho más eh, amable, cortés, right? What you're actually saying. For example, the, we have here the number one. It says, you might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. How do you say that one? Listen to that one. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. How would you translate that? Aha, do you remember como dijimos que se, se decía eso? You might want to have. Eh, tú podrías uh, tener un gran, promo, un, event, un gran evento promocional con una celebridad. All right, excellent. You know what? My want, y si solo decimos, por ejemplo, eh, we want to say, might want. This is the year like, um, you know, might want to have. Pero si queremos decir, you might want to have. Ya el significado cambia y es así como, es posible que quieras tener, for example, un evento promocional. Entonces, eso sería... Es posible que quieras. Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So you say like this one. Es posible que quieras comprar esto. Es posible que quieras lo otro, right? Or like this one right here. You might like to schedule a promotional event eh, along a holiday like Black Friday. How would you translate this one? Uh huh. You might like to schedule. Remember, like this one, you might want to schedule. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, do you know what is a schedule? Yes. Es posible que quieras un cronograma promocional de evento. All right. Un horario. All right, yes. It, were, it means horario, pero también significa el verbo programar. Programar de, de, um, de tiempo, right? Organizar. That's actually what it means as well, right? Entonces ahí dice, you might want, you might like to schedule. ¿Qué sería entonces? Es posible que desees, all right? What is it? Programar. Programar, programar un evento, un evento profesional. Along, what is along? Along. I don't know, uh, along. No. Largo? Largo. <laughs> yeah, no. You know, just the word long is actually largo, of course, right? But in este caso, tiene una a, a principio. So, what would be that one? Uh -huh. Sería a lo largo de. O sea, sí era largo, pero. Le faltaba un poquito. All right, so. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. That's actually what it means. A lo largo de. Entonces, ahí sería. Um, what was this one? Es posible que desees programar un evento promocional a lo largo de una eh, festividad como el Black Friday. All right. Exactly, all right? So that's actually how you use it, right? Entonces, veamos, solo clarifying sería, ¿qué sería? You might want. Posible que. All yeah. right, ¿qué sería? Es posible que you said, right? Es posible que quieras. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque sería, es posible que, que quieras. And then you continue, all right? And you might like? Es posible que desees. Es posible que desees. There you go. Excellent. So, like that. Very good. All right. Questions right now at the moment about this topic, my friends? Me, teacher. Tell me, Miguel. Might is possible use 
as a question. Yep. Y the could is the suggestion. But the might is, si se puede usar como the question. Como una what, you, what do you mean when you want to ask a question? It's just like, eh, like for example, what, okay. I understand you said like if my can be used as a question, right? Is that what is that your question? Yes. All right, excellent. And so, um, yes. Oh, excuse me. Se puede contraccionar eso. No. Contractar might note. All right. So, uh, regarding the question, si se puede usar la question, of course, yes. You can use it as a question. No es tan común usarla as a question porque cuando se usa como question, estamos hablando de los modal verbs, que en ese caso entra o cambia el significado a podría. You know? Entonces, for example, yo te puedo poner ahí my it rain later. My it rain. Which it means like podría llover. All right. Pero eh, esto no es tan común in American English. In American English, it would be more common to say may it rain later. All right, or oh, cool it rain actually would be like the best one. So, but yes, it can be grammatically speaking, it's possible. En el uso in American English is not that common. All right, as a question. Pero si usted me está preguntando que es a question in this context, eh, not really, porque aquí de una sola vez estamos como haciendo la suggestion, right? Entonces, eh, no es una question like that, pero es una sugerencia como like eh, waiting for an answer, right? Eh, understand what I'm trying to say, my friend? Yes, it's. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Eh, y cool, of course. Cool, actually, sí es común para hacer questions. Maybe no para suggestions, sino que like to request something like for example could you please um give me your phone number or could you please provide me with your phone number could you please take a seat could you please stand up so like podrías 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 understand yes okay excellent any other questions no more questions no, okay great excellent so no problem now, let's just continue here with the um, next activity, which is this one. Okay, so we have a exercise number um, five and exercise number six. But we can do it together here right now, okay? So let's see. Number five, it says, Noe, can you help me to read the instruction, please, in number five? Just the instruction. Okay, DJ. Thank you. Uh Complete the sentence and use it could or might. Compare your anchor with a flat mic. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So as you can see here, it says the number one. It says we could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. All right. And I have a question for you. How would you translate this, this section? We could drive a car. Uh -huh. In Spanish? Yes, of course. Nosotros deberíamos conducir un carro. Okay, so cool sería deberíamos, my friend? Podríamos. Podríamos, exactly. Very good job. Excellent. So we go on this one. Now... Um, let's see. Um, who can help me to read number two? Mister. Okay, Nuria, go ahead. The boss might want to the start the event with a speech. All right. So yes, so of course, right? That's the correct answer there. Might. There you go might want to share the event with a speech. And then I have a question for you, Nuria. How would you translate that into Spanish to see if you understood? Um, el jefe 
podría querer eh, iniciar el evento con un, un discurso o un, no sé, speech. A speech, no. yes, me discurso, of course. Okay. A speech, discurso. Thank you, all right? Speech, discurso. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So then uh, we go on this one. Thank you, Nuria. Number three, volunteer for number three. Hello, hello, volunteer. That's awesome. Good try. Go ahead, Danny. That's awesome. Good try to bundle up the food with collective mugs. Collectively mugs. All right. Excellent. So I have this one for you here. All right. So it says cool. Okay. Now, um, Daniel, how would you translate it into Spanish to see if we have understood the structure correctly? All right. Uh, okay, so up and mugs. You have questions about the vocabulary? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Guys, do you remember I I show you before what's the meaning of bundle up? What is bundle? Bundling, actually, I show you before. Bundle up, so the phrase helper. Uh huh. So what is it? Agrupar. Agrupar, exactly, right? Just this. Y aquí que es un mug. Uh huh. Como reagrupar. Ese sería bundle up. Uh -huh. Ajá. Bundling is agrupar. Bundle up es lo mismo, pero es como un phrasal verb. Y los mocks, la última palabra, what will be that one? Las tazas. Son las tazas, exactly, right? Son unas tazas. Very good. All right. So tenemos las cups y tenemos las mocks. Los mocks son los que, like, you know, los, like, um... The big ones, right? So when you keep the coffee hot. All right. Donde mantienes el café bien caliente. Eso es un mug. All right. So, and then you go on this one. Thank you. Entonces sería ahí. Eh, who was this one? Daniel, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Daniel, how would you translate that into Spanish? The... Sala de venta, pero si sí, sí, sala de venta. No, el sería grupo. el equipo de ventas. El yes. equipo de venta podría agrupar. The food is. Where is the food? Es comer o. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Excuse me. ¿Cómo sería food? Ah. Huh? La comida. Con los vasos, dijeron que era el último. Como tazas, ajá. Taza. Tazas que, que son collectively. Collectible, sorry. Ajá. Coleccionable. Coleccionables. Yay, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, who wants to be my volunteer for number four? Thank you, Noe. The, the manager me, me might like my life to, lo, to launch a new. Excuse me, uh huh. A, a launch a, a new light of King Mill. It's meal. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Now I have a question for everybody here. What's the meaning of lounge? Lanzar. Lanzar. Very good. All right. Lounge. Lanzar. Como like sacar algo. All right. So good. Uh, and then, what is a kid's meal? Comida para niños. Comidas para niños, Comida right? Infantil. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Comida infantil, yeah? Una comida infantil. Como la famosa Happy Meal, the, um, the McDonald's. McDonald's. Exactly. 
All right, so then we got this one, number five. Thank you, what's number five? Mm -hmm. The event could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Thank you very much. So we have now here, cool. Very good, awesome. So let's see this one. Thank you, and let's go with number six. The store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequent, frequently. Frequently, all right, excellent. Thank you, you did it good, all right? Everybody who participated, you did good. What is loyalty offering? Mm -hmm. Oferta de lealtad. Oferta de lealtad, exactly, right? Como promociones para clientes frecuentes, basically. All right, so very good job. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right, excellent. So then, oh, questions about number five, exercise number five, questions about vocabulary? No. no. Okay. No, I'm sorry? You. Yes? Miguel, do you want to ask something? It's clear, teacher. Oh, okay, great. Um, Let's continue with the uh, activity number six. All right. By the way, Miguel, can you help me to read the instruction in number six? Match this word to describe promotional strategies to their meaning. To their meaning, exactly. Very good job. So we got this one right here. All right. So this is like the term and this is the definition. So let's do it together. Number one, it says... Publicity stunts. Okay, let's just go and check this one. What is publicity stunts? All right. What is it? Trucos publicitarios. Yay, trucos publicitarios, all right? So like that one right there. So the publicity is like this one. So publicity. All right, so you got this one. Let's see. The publicity stance. Mm -hmm. Luco Policitarios. Oh, All right, publicity stance, Luco Policitarios. Which one could be the definition for that one? ¿Cuál de estas sería, people? ¿Dónde podríamos colocar this letter A? Oops. This letter A here. This letter A. A planet oh. event designed to attract the public's attention. Ajá. Uh -huh. A plan event designed to attract public's attention. Yes or no, people? Yes. Yeah, that would be like this one. So, yes. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Bundling. Remember what is bundling, people? Agrupar. Agrupar, uh -huh. So what would be that one? Can you read it? Offering several products for sales as one combined product. Combined product. Exactly, right? So we're going this one right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then we have public relations. What will be that one, people? The professional maintenance of a favorite public image. image. Maintenance, yes. Maintenance image. Mm -hmm. All right. So professional maintenance of favor favorable public image. So public relations. All right. So yes. Absolutely. All right. So you got it here. Thank you. And then you go on this one, uh, like the letter D, loyalty offerings. What would that one, people? Personal incentives. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, you know what? Give me one second. I will show you one right now. One second. All right. One, 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 one second.
Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I was just like trying to show you this one. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, there. Can you see this? No. Yes or no? Not it's a cup, it's a mug, all right? But it has some promotional things right here. So, in una store, cuando compré, you know, para el Día del Padre, they gave me those, I mean, they gave me this cup, all right? And it says, Happy Father's Day, in the name of the store, all right? Ese sería entonces un loyalty offering, all right? So, te dan un producto, all right? And you keep it, and it has the name of the company here, all right? So, that's it. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So, is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Llaveros. How do you say llaveros, people, in English? Llavero. Key ring. Key ring, exactly. Ooh. Ahí está. Llavero. All right. That's another type of public, I mean, uh, loyalty offering sometimes. All right. So we go on this one right here. So we go on D. There you go. And the last one, obviously, that will be sampling. Can someone read it? The promotional of a product by distributing sample of it. Thank you very much. So you go on this one right there. Thank you. Hey, do you have questions about the vocabulary here? Yeah, sampling. No? Sampling. Oh, sampling. Yeah. All right. Sampling is just to provide free samples. All right. You know, como muestra gratis. Sampling. Sampling, sampling. All right. Muestreo, pues, if you want to call it like that, you know. Is it clear? Yeah. There you go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Now, people, it's your opportunity to actually work on this. All right. Después de que vimos, like, how do you add um products to your, you know, um to the menu and how to promote them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this is what you are going to do, all right? Take a look at this one. Mm -hmm. There you go, here it is, excuse me. Excuse me for this one, here it is. Can you see it right now? Hello? Can you see it? The number seven. Okay. Yay, the number seven. All right, so like this one. Oh, my bad. So it's supposed to be this one right here. It's the number four. So we were skipping it, so this one right here. My bad, I'm sorry, okay? So it's this one. Can you see it now, the number four? Yeah. All right, excellent. So it says right there, in pairs, use the steps above as example to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a, fat, a fast food restaurant. Define strategies you will use in your action plan. So ahora ustedes les toca hacer uno de estos, you know? So you can use it here as an example, right? So what will be the steps? ¿Qué producto van a agregar? ¿Cómo se llama la company? What's the name of the company? ¿Qué producto van a agregar? Eh, ¿Quién va a llevar a cabo este cambio? Who will carry out? ¿Cuán, ¿Cuándo se va a llevar a cabo? ¿Qué recursos necesitan? ¿Y cómo va a funcionar la communication? All right? So I want to present this one here. Como lo hicimos yesterday con the menu, right? So I'm going to present este plan. All right. So is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
All right, excellent. So now my friends right here, give me one second when I can just, um, let's see here. I'm going to send a screenshot to the WhatsApp group. All right, so you can have it there, okay? Okay, so let's see here. All right. Excellent. So it's supposed to be there in a moment. Okay, excellent. So before I send you to the breakup rooms, do you have any question? Any questions? No question, teacher. No? No, teacher. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> we will have some time. Enough. Okay, okay. So let's see this one. Okay, okay, excellent. So well, everybody go to the to the rooms right now. And then you create that plan. Five minutes enough. Yes or no? <laughs> Evelyn, Guillermo, do you have any problem to join the groups? Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's work on the plan. What's in a producto? A restaurant, comida, pizza, hamburgers. Food. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Of course, pueden usar como apoyo. You can use as a resource, um, the example we have on the book, right? Okay. Well, yes, I if you have questions on vocabulary, please let me know. Okay. Guillermo. Sí, I'll pensando. go to a different room right now, okay? Don't worry. Streams. Dream. Dreams. Streams. Dreams. Dreams. No problem. Dreams. Dreams. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Loroco. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces sería. Dreams. 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 Loroco. 
with Loroco and and South South. South, South. Okay. Um, who will carry carry it out? Um, the mm -hmm. the manager, the the working work working. Mm. But first, we need to make an action. What action? Uh, for example, uh, for example, or. Um, maybe some discount. Um, but 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 we need we have to the name of a grid of the ingredients we add uh, at the menu, but we have to defi define what action for for change will happen. The letter A. Okay. On um mm -hmm. But for me, it's a good idea to to give a fifty percent of count in the first uh, uh, pizza. In the first time, the customer uh, have a pizza, maybe. Okay, sounds good. Okay. I will go to a different uh, room, guys. If you have questions, call me. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. I don't know. I think. Uh, <coughs> Friday. <laughs> For Friday. By Friday. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. When in the bakery, and for how long? In all November? No, all weekend. Uh, Sevilla. The November. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice calabaza? Pumpkin. Com? Com Kim. G U M P K. Right now, I'm going to write it here in the chat so you can see it. Okay. Okay, thanks. Entonces, podría ser. Um... Pumpkin cookies for November. October, real. October, yes. Sí. Yes. Pero cookie is cookie. Ahí te lo escribí, compañero. Cupcake. Okay. Cupcakes, thank you. Cupcake. Okay, cupcake. Cupcake. Pumpkin cupcakes. 
Okay. Got the next. Um, what resources are needed? What is what resources are need to carry out the change? Yes. Um how punking. <laughs> Pong Kim, what else? Yes, ingredients. <coughs> ingredients. Uh, arena. 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 It's a uh, flower. Flower. Sugar. And sugar. Eggs, milk, yes, eggs, pumpkin, yes, egg. yes. juice or lemon for decoration. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ready, right? <laughs> yes. No falta una. Ya casi. No problem. The number E is communicating who should know what. The customer. The customers. Yes, yeah, the customer. Okay, I will close the rooms right now so you have one minute to um to join the, the, the main session, okay? Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So we will just finish with this activity and then you can leave, right? So let's do it quickly. So who's gonna be my volunteer? Mm -hmm. I think Thank you, Daniel. All right, are you going to share your screen? And um, I will start to read, read that. La, eh, eh, yo lo escribí y él le tomó la captura. <laughs> okay, no problem. Go ahead. Okay, DJ. Okay, then. And the promo, the promo jump, the Halloween, the Halloween pizza. The Halloween five, pizza, okay. Yes, the the five dollar. Uh, the the jet may make pizza. Manager give order. Mm -hmm. The pro the promos the promotion is available uh, available to deliver promotion valid only on October thirty uh, one. The promotion okay. is valid 
if you're present the social media coupon coupon yes uh, finish you finish okay thank you that was actually a very creative thing so here you have the halloween pizza can you see it yes yeah that's the halloween pizza right very good thank you this doesn't look very delicious and huh? there's a spiders here all right so excellent but thank you thank you thank you okay one more please and then we can finish One plan more, please. Hello, hello. Tacos Fitness. Tacos Fitness, all right. Oh, but please don't tell me those Tacos Fitness are not the same as uh, all you can pay. Excuse me? It's not the same, it's not the same as the one we checked yesterday, all you can pay. No. All you can pay. No. <laughs> all okay. right. The Tacos Fitness is a, is a new introduce the item in the menu. Uh, the the carried out is the teams, is the cooking teams for preparing the, what is the, what is the pronunciation? Preparing the, preparar la, 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 la. Okay, to continue, the the new chat code is available for Monday to Friday, and the chat mm -hmm. request integral tortilla, tortillas, and vegetable and chicken, and advertising mm -hmm. at all community fitness. Okay, excellent. So there we have the taco fitness or fitness tacos all right so very good excellent thank you thank you thank you very much for that one all right so you did a very good job on this one so basically people so you just have to like um you know use the information that we were sharing earlier before you know i completely understand that it might have been a little bit difficult at the beginning right to understand what we were doing but i have to congratulate you and i have to say uh, thank you for the effort because at the end you understood and now you are able to apply uh, those words, the vocabulary and expressions in uh, the activity like the one we just did about creating the plan. So congratulations and thank you for the effort again. Before we finish, people, do you have any questions? No, no questions? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So remember that all the classes are recorded and they are going to be available on YouTube, right? Later or maybe tomorrow, I will share the link of the playlist so you can see all the classes that we have uh, gone through this week, all right? So everybody, have a wonderful night. I will see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Thanks. Have a good night.